Question 8.3 is all about a general solution. So what we're going to do for 8.3.3, let me just write this down, 8.3.3. Uh, so we've got 2 sin of 3x minus 15 plus 1 equals to 0. I'm going to take the plus 1 over. Then I'm going to divide by 2. And then we can get our reference angle. Now remember to get your reference angle, you don't put the negative on the calculator. So on the calculator, you're just gonna press, if you have a Casio, it's shift sin of a half. So the reference angle is gonna be equal to sin negative one of a half. So that means shift sin of a half, and that will give you 30 degrees. Now the negative, tells us that we are in the quadrants where sin is negative. So if we're in the quadrants where sin is negative, we know from the cast diagram that that will be quadrant three and quadrant four. So we open up quadrant three and then quadrant four. Now we can start. So we say three X minus 15 and then 3x minus 15 for quadrant 4 as well. And then for quadrant 3, it starts with 180 plus. For quadrant 4, it starts with 360 minus. And then you put your reference angle. And then you just say plus k, or your teacher might use n, doesn't really matter. And then k is an element of z, and then same on this side. And then you just solve. So this one's going to give us 3x equals to 225 eventually. And so that's going to give us x equals to 75 plus k times 120. k is an element of z. And then for the one on the right hand side, we take it over. And that'll give us 345 plus k times 360. k is an element of z. And that's going to eventually give us x equals to 115 plus k times 120. K is an element of Z. So that's the answer for 8.3.3. That's just the general solution. But then you can go a little bit further, and that's usually with the specific solution. So they're saying, hence, determine the values of X if they only allow you to work in that interval over there. So minus 270 up to 90. Let's just write that down for ourselves. Uh, minus 270 up to 90. So what we now go and do is we take both of these and we just go find as many answers as we can. So we we try different values for k. Um, so I'm going to take this one first. So x equals to 75 plus k times 120. So for example, if k equals to 0, then you would get x equals to 75 plus 0 times 120, which is equal to 75. Does 75 fit into this interval? Yes, it does. And so we are happy. That's a nice one. Then we can try using another value for k. Now, some students ask me, Kevin, can we use fractions and decimals? No. The reason is, is that we always say k is an element of integers, meaning k can only be integers like 0, 1, 3, minus 6, minus 2, minus 1. So let's let k equal to 1, and let's see what happens. So that means that x would be 75 plus 1 times 120, and that's going to be 195. But now we're going a little bit too far, because now we are going out of that interval. Okay, so then let's let k equal to minus 1. Let's go down a bit. Then x would be equal to 75, um, plus minus 1 times 120, and that's going to give us minus 45. Now that's a good answer because it fits in this interval, so that's what we want. So we'll say, uh, yes, that's a good one. Okay, and then we can maybe try k equals to 2, I mean minus 2, sorry, and so that would be x equals to 75 plus negative 2 times 120, and let's see what that gives us. Yes, that's also a good one. Minus 165. So that works, because it's in that interval. But you can try it for yourself. If you had to go another one, like k equals to minus 3, that'll be too far, and it won't fit into this interval. Okay, so we're done with that. So we've got three answers from that one. 
Now we need to go do the same type of technique, but using this now. So let's quickly write it down. All right, so I'm going to start with k equals to 0. And so that's going to be 115 plus 0 times 120, which is 115. Now that's not a good answer because it doesn't fit in this interval, so we'll say no. It's too big. So it wouldn't make sense that we try k equals to 1 because that will also be too big. So let's go negative. So we can try k equals to negative 1. And so that's going to be um, 115 plus negative 1 times 120. And if you work that out, be negative 5. Now that works because that fits into that interval that we are looking for. So we'll give that one a nice little tick over there. And um, we can go further. So we can go k equals to minus 2. And so that's going to be 115 plus negative 2. And if we go work this one out, we get negative 125. So that's still good because it's still inside that interval. Goodness me, a lot of answers here. And then we can try k equals to negative 3. Let's change the color to blue again. So k equals to negative 3. Then it's x equals to 115 plus negative 3 times 120. And let's see if this one fits in. Yes, it just fits in. Now we won't go any further because you can try, but you'll see that it will go outside of this. So all of the answers are going to be all of the ones that worked, not the k values. We don't care about that. We care about this, 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 and this. And so the final answers will be x is equal to, and now they always do these cool little brackets, and then 75 minus 45. I'm not going to list it in order. You don't have to. And so six different answers.